Hello, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, so this actually wasn't part of the original recording for this episode, uh, but I realized I never went and checked up on this tactic, the, the place that we saw in the tactics video for defeating Dracula like a pro. Um, so I figured, hey, we would come and see what was going on. For some reason, I can't make this jump. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so you're going to be welcome back to this episode once again uh, when the actual recording starts. Um, but I just kind of wanted to, ask, while I was here, uh, go ahead and play around using some of the moves that I know how to do uh, with uh, Alucard, see if they transition into attacks for Richter. Um, and they, they probably do to some degree, like, let me see if I... I don't know, I was trying to... Oh, hey, that was cool. I was trying to guess how to do a, uh, a backflip, but it seemed like I accidentally did a Shoryuken. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool and fine and good, but let's see what's up with this tactic zone. Uh, I'm not sure... What entirely is going to be up here if this is going to be like a hidden area that has spoilers for the rest of the game? I'm guessing it probably didn't, or it won't, excuse me, um, because they showed us how to get to here. And man, the I'm having more problems with the audio, and holy crap, there's a lot of weapons up here. I don't think we're able to access these weapons as, uh, as Richter, though, so I'm guessing maybe if we continued onwards, these would be things that we'd have as, uh... As Alucard, like in the future, I'm guessing. Uh, so maybe these are like cool things you could have uh, for a run if you need to come up here ahead of time. I'm guessing that's the deal. And you know what? I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna go beat Dracula and play play up a little bit with Alucard and see what's up. So refighting Dracula was actually a really good idea because I learned some lore and uh, and, and maybe maybe some of the story things that I've been talking about that might have upset some of you previously. Uh, I now I now understand. Uh, now that I don't have, like, weird clipping audio, I was able to hear um, Maria when she comes in because I died to, to Dracula right at the very end, and I felt bad about that. But I got close. I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, she does not say brother. She very clearly says Richter. So they are probably not in an adoptive brother-sister relationship like I had previously assumed. Uh, so we, we now know that. Um, neutron bomb. Uh, Okay, I'm guessing that's a thing that we picked up. I'm definitely going to use this. I'm definitely going to go and use this stuff now because I'm not going to replay the game from from this point. Uh, and actually, that's the only thing that we seem to have that we didn't have previously. What? What? What is this? Is this like? Oh, this is. Ah, uh, you can you can organize your stuff. Cool. Um. So yes, that's cool. I now know uh, Richter and and uh, Maria's relationship a little bit better, I suppose. And by that, I mean I just know that they're not brother and sister. Um. I was also able to uh, see that Richter did not disappear. It like after beating Dracula, it was four years later. He just disappeared during a full moon. Uh, so that's cool. And then the the next year, Castlevania appeared, and Maria went in to go see what was up uh, because that and that that's weird because you know it, Dracula's castle showing up is is weird. Period. But also, it's supposed to only appear every hundred years, and and five is not a hundred, so that's weird. And also, Alucard. Um, I wasn't 100% sure about, like, if this is, like, his origin game or whatever, but they also, uh, in the, the, the excuse me, the opening uh, cutscene where they're like, uh, this happened and this happened, when they talk about Alucard, I was kind of uh, skimming it very quickly because uh, I was very panicked in the first episode. Um, and, you know, reading reading while talking is a little bit difficult. Uh, so I, I, I saw a mention that was like, oh, Alucard, the same dude who fought with Trevor Belmont, which I believe is... Um, is Simon's grandpa? His his ancestor of some sorts. The dude from Castlevania Three, uh, which I know had like alternate playable characters uh, you could unlock and stuff. Uh, and I'm guessing Alucard was one of the playable characters from 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 that, based on the way the game uh, the game's opening sounds. Uh, and also because my friend my friend Nathan told me that Alucard was in Castlevania Three, but I had forgotten because you know brain don't work great. Um, so I'm not seeing all the things that we had picked up from, uh, from 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 the the hidden Dracula place. But I'm going to use this neutron bomb. I, is this like a, a a one and done kind of thing? Like you, yeah, the neutron bomb is a one and done kind of thing. Uh, I'm just gonna play up ahead until we encounter um, death to see if we get the rest of our junk. The the the, the answer is no. Hello, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Bleh. Um, on the last episode, we we just kind of explored. We, we, found, we found Maria. Uh, we became we, 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 we got the ability to become the good boy. Uh, we discovered a library. I died. I felt defeated. I ended an episode. 
Uh, but then I went and explored the library again, and I also found how to use those ding dang special moves I'd been using. Uh, and I'll probably continue to accidentally use them instead of purposely using them because there's, there's never going to be a point in my life where I'm in a battle. I'm like, oh yeah, I just need to do a back forward, little wiggle back forward, square or circle. I, I was never terribly good at fighting games. I could do the, the quarter circles and your Z your Z moves. Like like the, I think the Shoryuken, you do like a little Z move or maybe that one's a, I don't, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played a, uh, a, a, a fighting game period, but specifically um, Street Fighter. Um, so, a few things to go over, uh, and this one's just something I, interesting to me, um, normally when I record Let's Plays, um, where are we? We're the Clock Tower. Oh, that's where things go bad normally in, uh, Castlevania games, I think. I, I, I remember, like, the Clock Tower's, like, where you find, um, uh, Medusa heads for the first time. That's a big skull. Can I kill it? Skull Lord. Uh, he also can't seem to get back here, so I'll just keep stabbing. Uh, I think that's where you find Medusa heads for the first time in the original. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. Maybe I'm substituting in uh, Arya of uh, Arya of Sorrow, uh, Proton John LP memories. Who, who knows? Um, but uh, normally when I record LPs, I'll record an episode and then kind of call it a day from there. Uh, and then come back some other time for the next episode. Uh, but this is literally... I finished the last episode, I went and, uh, normally whenever, like, stuff like that happens, it's like, oh man, I guess I'll come back and, you know, do it later, but literally after finishing the recording, I was like, no, I'm gonna go and redo the, the library stuff, I actually keep, I want to keep playing, um, so I went and did the library stuff immediately, uh, and, you know, I do want the, no, the, the, the Bible's been cool, um, uh, I was like, you know, I'm going to go back because I'm, I'm enjoying this game. And as I was, like, getting back to where I was, which honestly wasn't a lot. It was just exploring the library again. Um, I was like, yo, I'm just going to keep playing more of this game. I'm recording another episode right now. I mean, I, I took a little break in between. Um, you can probably tell from my voice. Not sure how apparent it is. But I am um, just a little under the weather. Um, not sure how apparent it is in my voice. Uh, so, you know, I took a little break. Eat some food. Got some water, drank some tea, felt, you know, feel, feel good stuff. Uh, and But I'm back at it again, and it's time to do more Castlevania. And uh, there's this little skull. What is this skull? Is it just skull? Because we fought the skull. Phantom skull, okay. Um, oh, okay, we, we, fell, we fell down into Skull Lord territory. Uh, well, we've seen that there's not much uh, to be offered to us down here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just escape uh, and see what's up now. Because will that have permanently fallen away? Yeah, that's permanently fallen away. Can I? I don't think I can make that jump. Uh, you know, I'll go for it. Why not? Uh, there's, there's no reason to like not try and make that jump, and then just find out later that I could have made the jump and just missing, missed out on something. And let's go ahead and just beat up the Skull Lord while we're down here. Maybe they'll have a cool drop or something for us. Who knows? Um, so yeah, this game is good. This game is good and cool, and I just I wanted to keep playing more of it. Um, also, the other thing in the last episode, we unlocked the ability to turn into a dog. And I didn't mess around too much with it, um, but I asked my friend Nathan because he's a big he's a big Castlevania fan. He's like the Castlevania fan um, as far as far, as far as I know. Like they were like he's he's the big he's the biggest fan. And then everyone's just like sure, uh, much to some other people's chagrin. Uh, sorry, sorry, Quadros. I know I know you're also a really big big fan. Not 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 that any of you are watching this, but but hey, hey, those are, those are the those are the two Castlevania fans I know. Um, which will probably offend other people I know who like Castlevania that I just are uh, unaware of or just not thinking of off the top of my head. So, sorry, I'm, I'm doing my best here. I'm get, I, I'm, I cheesed this guy last time and I don't think there's anything behind him. So I should probably just leave him alone unless he potentially has like a cool drop. I mean, when he dies, his sword gets cut in half and that's cool. That's a cool drop, you know, it's an experience, baby. Not an experience. I mean, he gives us experience points as well because this has RPG elements to it. That's not what I mean. That's not important. Uh, but I asked my friend Nathan, like, what's the point of the wolf? Because it was like, oh, cool, we can turn into a wolf and we can bark. But he also said that it was for um, for going fast. And I'm tr okay, so yeah, we, we double tap and we can run like uh, we did, we could when we were Richter. Um, we haven't been able to do that as Alucard yet. Uh, are we going to fight another doppelganger in here? It's glowing in the same way uh, the the mirror did when we uh, found the doppelganger. 
Uh, did this warp us somewhere else in the castle? It looks like it warped us somewhere else in the castle. Yes, okay. So whenever we find these keyhole mirrors, uh, we will be warped to a new place in the castle. Neat, neat, neat. Uh, let's see where we are now. It's a place that we've... Oh, it's literally just the other side of this. What is this? Heart, heart max. Oh, heart max up. So I was like, is this a health increase? We, I mean, we get those when we beat bosses and from leveling up. But no, we have upped our hearts, which is different than our health. And that will always throw me off. Okay, cool. We have a warp uh, back here. Um, looking at the map, um, let's see what we could do. Um, man, I don't have a... You know what? You know what? We, hmm, how difficult would it be to... I don't know if it, uh, I was gonna. I was gonna see if I could put my mouse on screen, uh, but I'd have to mess with the recording for that. So I'm going to continue to just badly describe what we are seeing on this map. So um, bottom left corner, uh, above the area that's just grayed out, that's the merman room. We don't have the ability to swim, and I don't see any connecting areas uh, to the merman room anyway. So it's not like swimming would help us. Um, there is a branch like. Uh, directly b beneath us, there's a hallway, and directly beneath that, there's another hallway that has an entryway uh, somewhere we can't see. So there's probably a hidden area that would lead us into there. Uh, there is an area leading. Uh, yeah, there's an area just ahead that would lead us something uh, somewhere. Um, oh, and we have the. I forgot. We have the. Um, we bought like a locket or something that would unlock uh, the magic blue doors. So from the save room, uh, from where we warped from. Uh, the save room diagonally bottom left from it. There's a hallway there that has a, a blue door, and there's also one um, from where we are currently diagonally uh, top left up. Uh, the save room, like right above there, is another a blue pendant door. So we have we have three things we can go check out. Cool, cool, cool. I was like worried for a hot second, like oh man, I don't exactly know what to do. Um, oh, he can walk down the stairs. For some reason that surprised me. Bloody zombie. That makes a lot of sense. I was like, that looks like just like a human man. But you know what looks like human men? Zombies. I mean, I mean, zombies can be whatever gender, you know. But, you know, it was, it was a human man zombie. It, it happens. Uh, there's, a, oh, it's just an area we, we, we could have fallen from. This is the death room. Um, okay, yeah, like, I had fallen through here when I was exploring once, but then I died. Um, so I guess it didn't get uh, put on our map. Uh, so that's cool. Um, yeah, we just found another heart max up. Neat, neat, neat. Uh, finding, finding some woohoo secrets. Uh, as the Super Mario would say, but we are not the Super Mario. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last episode, but I've been going around uh, whenever I'm like, oh, I'm going to cut away because I died or I'm going to explore an area. I've been punching walls. I don't know if there's destructible walls or not, and I definitely mentioned this last episode. Um, but I don't know if there's uh, destructible walls or not in this game. I knew there were in... Uh, Aria of Sorrow, because once again, watched an LP. Um, but I, I don't know if those will be present in this game, and I'm hoping they're not without, like, you know, some obvious just or not justification, but, you know, some obvious, like, uh, what do you call it? Signposting. Like, uh, earlier, we found, like, that, that cannon that we hit, and it blew open uh, the door that we went through. That was that was neat. That was cool. Um, I was into that. Uh, but, you know, just walls that look like normal walls uh, that you just have to go and punch, like, on a on a guess, and then they, they break. But those those are dumb and bad. I don't uh, care for those all too much. Um, I suppose we have some backtracking to do, so I'll see you when we get to where we're going, which is the blue door. All right. Okay. So... Uh, I, I looked at the spells again, and summon spirit was this like weird like ranged attack we had, and I was like, hey, maybe I can kill the skeleton at a range. We come up. This is where we did the stupid cannon thing. We've we've been. Uh, mm, mm. It's been a while doing that. Okay, so these. These guys poisoned me. These these spittle bones, as they're called, uh, they they poisoned me, and I thought uh, going and healing would fix that, but it didn't. Now I'm not sure if poison something just that will go away with time, or if you have to heal yourself. I'm assuming you have to heal yourself, um, just because I'm uh, I'm going by like old Pokemon like logic. Uh, but I don't have any <coughs> antidote or anything, uh, so I. Guess we're just gonna roll with it as it is. And also, I mean, as you saw, 
I was I thought I, I could solve a puzzle. I thought I'd be like, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll kill the skeletons in a neat way. And I'll, I'll get get the drop on them because I was like, these are my dark spells, my my dark magics. It'll be, it'll be fun. It'll be cool. Uh, but no, 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 no. The, the, the game had my number, uh, and we had already apparently been to that area. And I I could have known that had I used my memory or if I had checked the map. But I did not check a map. Uh, not like a map like you know cheat cheating. I mean like the map on like our, our map screen. Uh, I'm not sure if the um, relic, let's see, because we, Jewel of Open, okay, see, I, I wasn't sure if this would be like one-to-one, -one, like it's a small key kind of deal, or if it's just like, we can now open any door, and it seems like we'll be able to open any uh, locked uh, door, or door locked by blue, I assume there'll probably be other uh, magical seals that we can't handle. So, we meet again, Alucard. It seems so. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle is different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. So I can't trust my memories, huh? Oh well, I'll do my best. Good luck. Damn, Maria's just like walking around the castle like, Hey, mm, this isn't what I remember. So she's, she's just chilling. She's probably handling this a lot better than we are. Because uh, I've died several times. She's just like, hey, yo, what's up? What's good? Uh, Royal Chapel. Interesting. I guess, you know, sometimes Dracula's got to get married, too. Um, hmm. Okay. I just wanted to look at the map. For some reason, I was just like, map, yes. Um, we don't really need to say. But let's go ahead and just do it anyways. Um, I've been making backups of my, uh, my memory card files just in case... Uh, anything went wrong, uh, and I needed to go back, like, you know, for an episode or whatever. I, I don't know, like, if a recording fails or what. Oh, I can jump on top of that. Uh, so I'll be saving in the middle of, of uh, episodes uh, because I seem to need it. It's I, I do bad. Uh, there's just, like, a little forest outside of Dracula's Castle. I don't, I don't know why, but that really, like, you know, caught me, like, it, like, it caught my interest because it was, like, whatever. Oh, these motherfuckers. Uh, mm. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, it was just like, because you think of Dracula's castle, and I always think it's like, yeah, Dracula's castle, it's like floating in the middle of nowhere or whatever, I, I, don't, I don't know, and this other bone, is it still alive or was it just harassing me? What, what, what was happening there? Man, those, those bone pillars, like, man, they, uh, they got, they, they made my life hell in, uh, Castlevania 1, like the, the half of it I played. Uh, and now that they've put them on stairs, they found a new way to complicate the proceedings because now they're going to roll after me. And I, I'm not sure if it was still alive and that was like a desperation thing or if it was just like, hey, what's good? I'm dead, but I'm still going to hurt you. Uh, who? What? Oh, look at this little sneaky boy. Corner guard. Interesting. And I need to, to remember to dodge backwards when I was uh, re-exploring the, uh, the long library. Uh, I made use of it uh, whenever fighting the, um... Can I get a little closer and stab? Yeah, cool. I made use of my dodge a little better when I was fighting uh, the... Oh, shoot! I just threw a ton of ton of those accidentally. Um, when fighting the fencing uh, skeletons, whose names I can no longer remember, even though it was literally, like, two hours ago that I recorded. Um, even though I was like, I'm recording this back-to-back because -back I feel so good. Like, like t two hours passed. I, I ate and... Yeah, I went and took care of a couple things, but I was like, man, I just want to go back to playing immediately. Normally, like, because normally when I do LPs, like, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of beat after an episode. Like, uh, for the stuff that, like, I, like, practice up on and stuff, like, like, Warrior Land 4, for example. I would tend to re-record episodes a lot of the times. There's very few episodes that I didn't go and re-record, like the, um, the super hard stuff at near at the end was kind of all, like, off the cuff, but, like, the, the beginning stuff was all like, oh, I need to talk about this, and this needs to be presented this way. So it was all very like, oh, I need to get like the perfect take uh, when, you know, saying people would probably just, you know, oh, I'll go and fix this in post and fix this in post. But I, I don't know. My, my, my brain's dumb and it works weird. Uh, and that thing has a, a spiked ball. So, oh, the spiked ball is a separate enemy. Like, wait, hold up. If I hit this, do I get a bone pillar? It's not even telling me it's a bone pillar. I'm not sure why it's not exactly, uh, but I'm going to focus on the spiked ball for now. 
uh, just in case. Because, nope, it's going to drop regard. Is it going to explode or can I still? Nope, I just got to jump over it and hope for the best. No, the money just, no, who cares? Uh, so yeah, so you know, like with that kind of stuff, like I end up being beat like after one episode. Because one episode, I might end up recording for like an hour to record like, you know, like a 20 minute video. And it's like, man, I'm a dumbass. Why did I re-record -re this so many times? Uh, and then like with like Hitman, which is the only other uh, blind thing I've recorded uh, at the time of recording this one. Like with Hitman, like those missions are so long and I'm like, I'm going to record an entire mission in one sitting. So then like three hours later, it's like, oh my God, I'm so tired. Uh, but no, this is this is fun. This is fun and cool. Oh no, and I can I can jump up these stairs. I don't know why that caught me uh, unaware. I keep I keep, seem to keep being caught unaware. What is the deal with the sword? Is this an enemy? Is this a boss? What's your deal? Puppet sword. All right. Well, puppet sword. Meat axe. Because I I don't want to. It's actually I was I was like. What's it? What's the deal? And then I realized that it's a sword surrounded by other swords. That's actually a sick ass design. That's super cool. I'm really into that. Like I like it's just like a sword. It's like if swords were element. If if, if sword was an element, which it is, it is a classical element. You know, fire, water, earth, sword. Uh, you know, this is what a sword elemental would look like. This is super cool. I'm very into it, and I would really like to heal. Uh. I am getting my ass kicked by the sword. Um, who has now lost enough other sword? Oh, can I not? Can I not stab sword? Do I have to? Do I have to stab its other sword? Hmm. I'm kind of hurting. How many potions do I have? I don't. I've been kind of hoarding these. Po oh, I only have one potion. So. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do my best. And let's also. Soul steel. Cool. I was. Not sure which one I was going to use, uh, but that was a good one because I could use the health. And now we can just kind of uh, poke at the sword. Uh, we can stab the sword, which is kind of fucked up when you think about it. Uh, but yeah, you know, the, once the sword's friends were gone, it couldn't really do much to us. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I keep thinking I want to run, uh, which we would need to turn. Actually, let's, let's do it. Let's turn into let's turn into a bark bark. Uh, the bark bark doesn't jump very good, but we can in fact bark, and we could run. Oh, and we stayed uh, we stayed the bark bark in between screens there. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll scare enemies away as a bark bark. Oh, was this a hidden area? I, I didn't actually see this. Oh, is this a confessional? Oh, you can sit down. Neat. I thought it was going to be a cutscene, to be honest. Uh, I mean, that was super cool. Not, not dissing it, but uh, that was neat. Oh, wait. He's like, I want it. Okay, wait, hold up. He's like doing a different pose. I wanted him to do the thing where he, he drapes himself in his cloak. Oh, you can see different people. That's, that's really neat. Okay, so we saw like the priest or whatever. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Okay. All right. I wasn't, wasn't expecting that. Uh, that was so cool. Like you can see the priest on one. Like th that was neat uh, attention to detail. Okay. Okay, so this is super. Okay, this is this game's cool. This game's good. We sat down. We see you can see both. You can see different things on both sides. That's cool. You sit down both chairs. That's cool. Both chairs show you different things. I just already said that. That's cool. But like, okay, you press up and he like drapes himself and he's like a moody boy. But for some reason, when he comes up here, he's like he gets all tense. Like he's trying to like hide against the wall. Like he's not comfortable in here. And I guess it makes sense because a ghost walked in here and just hit him with like uh, a spear of some sort. So I guess it makes sense to be on guard. Uh, in, in Castle Dracula, being on guard is probably uh, the best thing you can do. And oh, these guys. Um, these guys actually aren't all that tough. Uh, it's just if they hit me one more time, I'll be dead. Uh, but unfortunately for them, I'm going to attack the... Oh, my, my axe will not go that far. I guess Guess I got to use my potion. Uh, potions are actually surprisingly expensive. Uh, like the... Uh, uh, what was he called? The Master Librarian sold them, but they were like 800 gold each. Which was one of the uh, more expensive items, I believe, that he had for sale. Excuse me. Uh, expensive uh, consumable items, I mean to say. Uh, man, these boomerang guys are really annoying. And uh, The potion actually didn't heal us for all that much. So it's good to know that it w it's not like a full heal or anything. It has like a set uh, value amount that it'll heal. Man, I was hoping I could uh, avoid that... Uh, those guys deal less damage than they used to, um, so my, my defense going up has been, like, uh, useful. I'm not, I wasn't sure, like, how 
much the uh, defense boosts were going to matter. Uh, but I remember when we were going through the uh, hallway last episode that I kept getting bodied in uh, on my way back to wherever I was going. I don't know. The, the, the hallway that had those guys in it previously, they were dealing 12 damage to us. And, you know, now they're only dealing 10. So we've become, we've become more powerful in a noticeable way. And is this also a hidden room? There's like a little guy down there. Like, can we, can we do anything? What if I hit him with a... That wasn't what I was trying to do. I was trying to do a back, forward, up, down. Yeah. No, it's not an enemy. Okay. Well, I suppose we'll figure out what the deal is with that later. Um, this is not a... Oh, no, no, no. If I jump from up here, I can make it this. We can see... Yeah, we, I was just up here. How did I forget? Uh, where are we? We're still in the Royal Chapel. Okay, I was trying to... Oh, those are... Oh, the, the crow's going to attack us. Oh, good. We're going to get our ass kicked by this bird. This bird is about to ruin our life. It doesn't deal a lot of damage. Uh, but, you know, those those birds are probably going to build up very quickly. Uh, and, you know, they only have to hit us ten more times to make us die. Uh, so if I can't get them, they're going to they're gonna get us. Not unless I hit it with an axe. Well, the, the bird is too smart for me. Uh, if it gets hit with the axe, it's, it's over for it, but... Unfortunately for it, it bird, bird is smart. Crow, crows are supposed to be like super smart, apparently. Like, apparently, oh no, I need to. That 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 uh, knockback is brutal, um, which you know is in line with uh, being a Castlevania game. Uh, now, I'm probably going to die here, and I don't have any more potions. Oh, good, and there's a a, a hunting girl. Oh no, I fucked up. I should I should have not been up here, should I? Well, I'm gonna hit this bell. I can hit the bell, and that makes me feel better, at the very least. Uh, let's kill these blue ravens, and I'm out of heart, so if there's anything more above us uh, that's a bigger problem, we're in trouble. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was... I was just thinking, like, I could super use a level up right about now. Um, that came at such a good time. Strength potion. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, is the strength potion a temporary thing? Yeah, temporary. Cool, I wasn't sure if it was like, use this, become stronger forever, which would be like, hell yeah, I'm gonna use that right now. Um, so cool, this was useful to come up. Silver plate. Is the silver plate better than our uh, bronze curious? I imagine it is. Oh, we have two hide curious. It's cool. Uh, yeah, it's just a straight up defense boost. There's no uh, detriment to using it. Neat, neat, neat. Uh, so this is worth coming up here. Uh, now we just need to get back down without getting killed. Which, why are there two bells taped to each... Oh, not, you know, tied, not taped. Uh, oh, this is a cool little bone halberd. That, that, was, that was a cool skeleton. I was into that. Um... Uh, but wh why, are, why are those uh, bells tied to get together like that? Is that like, a thing? Like, whenever you have a like a big ass clock tower, do you like, yo, I'm gonna tie a bell to my bell so it, it rings twice as hard? Is that like a thing, or it was just that just a weird video game thing? Like, I'm guessing it's based on something. That, I mean, that's just my guess is to assume that the, the game designers weren't just like, yo, would it be wild if I taped two? But I keep saying taped. But you know, they taped two bells together. Who gives a shit? They taped those bells together. We all know what they did. And I don't seem to be able to make this jump. Uh, let me let me, let me try to jump better. Nope. That's that's the, be that's the best I can do. Uh, I guess I'll need, like, high jump or whatever um, to get up there. Uh, unless there's something over here and there's a crow. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Bible. Oh, I'm, I only have three hearts. I forgot. Uh, I was going to rely on the good book. Uh, oh, there's a platform here. Okay. Um, oh, salt! Um, Bible is probably better than salt. Because uh, salt seems like it sets up like uh, like a hazard that enemies could step on. Um, but Bible seems very powerful. Because uh, it's just like a little option that like spins around us and deals damage. Uh yeah, I wasn't expecting this tower to be anywhere as useful as the other one. Because the other one, you know, we got armor, we got uh, we got we got health up. It was oh god, I cannot believe the usefulness of that health uh, up, uh, upgrade. Oh, there was a thing we could have done back there. Uh, before we get too far, I'm gonna go back to the other tower and see what's up. Wait, you know, I was like, I'm gonna cut, but it's actually honestly not all that far. We just have like we have like what two bone halberds and like four bats we have to fight. I'm, I'm actually not I'm not sure on the count. So there was one that passed us. So there's three bats, two bone halberds, and I'm another bat. Am I? Oh, there's a fifth bat and a third bone halberd. Oh, ding dang! I can't count at all. Oh man! And I oh, and there's even more. Yeah, I I super spaced out on the the total number of bats and bone halberds in that uh, that area. 
Wait a second. Oh, I was about to say there isn't anything here, but uh, it was because I was one too high. Uh, oh, and there's there's just spikes here. Uh, so nothing. Oh, well, I was like, I should touch it to see if it's, it'll hurt me. It's gonna hurt me. I shouldn't mess with it. I want to fight the. I want to fight this uh like ghost swords lady, because uh, I bet she has like a super cool sword she can drop. Uh, which I'm just assuming, since she is literally just a sword. So I'm guessing if you kill her, you get a cool sword. Because what else would you get? Also, I can kind of like just you know make her like no issue at all by using Bible. But we are out of we're out of our heart points, so we can't uh we can't man uh we can't just cheese her because I'm out of Bible. Man, these stupid crows and the, these wing guards keep coming in. These wing guards are being a regular Medusa head right about now. Oh, do I have to hit her ghost body? I thought I had to hit the sword. Oops. Uh, let's let's hit her with a little uh, eh, whatever one I just yeah. Take that. I think that's like uh like. Oh, I used dark metamorphosis, which we used. I think we used this when we fought our doppelganger, right? Uh, we used it when we fought someone, and it was super cool and came in handy. Yeah, take that. We didn't get anything for doing it, which kind of sucked, but, you know, whatever. It was all about the exp See, we got something when we killed that uh, crow. When we do Dark Metamorphosis, it's like we have, like, a vampiric effect on us, which it makes sense, you know? It's I guess it's like... Um, it's like Alucard, like, embracing his, like, Dracula, bro, bro, his Drac... It, 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 him being like a little Dracula and like taking a sippy sap of the blood and healing like it, it makes sense it's cool dark meta dark metamorphosis it's neat but we didn't uh we didn't heal anything when we beat the uh the um hunting girl which I'm guessing is because she's a ghost and didn't have blood that's that's the the logic I'm going to assume is in place and actually is this oh this is the bottom I thought we could go I thought we could go further down from here See, because when I saw this the first time, I thought it was just a straight up and down like we would fall from here. I didn't realize this was a platform. Uh, but then I continued to assume that there was uh, a way to go back down. Uh, but, you know, there wasn't. And it's good. And, uh, you know, there's a bit of an area that we, we missed exploring uh, back there that I'm now noticing at the bottom. Not at the bottom of the Royal Chapel, but uh, maybe that was the... Uh, from, from the last save room we visited, uh, you know, there's the... Oh, the, those are the stairs leading up. Uh, so I don't think we could have gotten any higher than we were previously, but it does look like we could have turned back and seen more. There was some bit stuff we missed, um, so, but we'll, we'll probably be back at some point. Um, like I said uh, previously, and I'll probably continue to reiterate, I'm not sure how much we'll complete of this game. Um, I do know that there's other characters you can play as, so I'm guessing there's multiple playthroughs, and I don't know if there's... Oh, this is a boss. Uh, I don't know if there's different campaigns or if it's just like you play the same game with the new character. Um, and I don't know how integral that is to the game. Uh, I guess we'll find out and we'll determine how much of this game we're going to play. I don't know how much of Dracula's Castle, Castlevania, we'll be seeing. But we're going to do our best to, to see as much of it as we can. Hopefully all of it. Uh, man, that is actually a sick portrait in the background. Um, considering, like, you know, this is like a sprite-based game. And, like, well, I was going to say doing art's difficult. But doing art in any game is going to be difficult. It's going to be the same level of diff. Well, I mean, the difficulty can vary from game to game. But uh, so I, always, I always just find sprite work, uh, like, super interesting. Because it, it takes a lot of, like, thought that I just... I don't have in my brain to make. Like, did it lay eggs? The hell's that? Oh, okay. It... it Oh, they made little Tweety Bird noises. That was wholly inappropriate. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a Bible out here to protect me from the Tweety Birds. Uh, and the Bible could not protect me from the Tweety Birds. Kind of fucked up when you think about it. Looney, the Looney Tunes is more powerful than the Good Book, which ah, oh, he's still in my stabbing range. It's fine. Cool. Griffin? No, no deal. Whatever. I killed a Griffin. It's not, not, a, not no, no big thing. No, no, no deal. Um. So whatever. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, hey. Impressive. You're very strong. What is it you want? You didn't come here to tell me that. You're right. Do you know the name Richter Belmont? Of the Belmont clan? Of course, but... He disappeared about a year ago, and I'm sure he's here. If you see him, please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Thank you. So, you do know how to be a gentleman. God, it's weird to hear someone say, my lady, and like, 
a legitimate, completely earnest sense and not like a, ooh, this guy's a weird gross boy. Um, it was really cute though. It was like, oh, do you know this guy? And they both were like thinking of like completely different Belmont with the spread. That was that was cute and good. I like that. That was a, that was a good goof. Um, I also, the way she said Richter, she was like, Richter, like she rolled the R or something. It, it was neat sounding. And I don't, I'm not going to be able to, to re replicate. Like I, I could start going like, oh, Richter. But like, I don't think that's what she did. I, it was like, the, she hit the ick, ick, like Richter. Like, like, like a real, like, like German, like, well, I, I don't know if that's strictly German, but uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm from a, a heavily German family. Um, like, like it's fucked up how German we are. Uh, like family, so like when I think of like the hard <sighs> sound, like I mean that, that that was that was what I just made was a gross noise, but the like the ah like the the kind of <sighs> sound I always think German, but I guess it's you know I, I think I think it it like like the Hebrew language has a lot of like <sighs> sounds to it too. I, I I'm a big dumbass and oh I think I turned into a dog. Um, it happens, fucked up but true. Um, but yes I'm a dumbass, don't know things. Uh, Cutlass. Uh, sword of the English Navy. Uh, it's a big power increase. Uh, let's see how slow it is, though. Not that it matters. Wolf Wolf can't use a sword. Uh, if Wolf Wolf could use sword, this game would be the best game ever, because Dog with Sword is good concept. Uh, Blade Wolf for Vengeance, which this is the second time I've mentioned it in this LP. Uh, good, good dog. I've, 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 uh... Also, play, I played a D&D game where I was just a talking dog with a sword, and... I'll tell you what, one of my best characters. <laughs> Talking dog with sword, very good boy. Very quickly was like, hey, yo, I'm going to start a social estate. It was a great, g great character. Diggity doo dog. It was f fun shit, fun shit. But uh, yeah, I I'm liking the sword. It's not nearly as fast as that uh, knife we were using, uh, but it is pretty quick. Uh, and for the power upgrade, it is probably worth it. And it's probably in my best interest to uh, start using different weapons and not just coming, uh, becoming completely uh, used to using one weapon alone. Because that's kind of a kind of a bad habit of mine, where it's like, oh, I'll find something I like and kind of settle into it. Like I know, uh, I think a lot of like pe people who play games. Um, I was I almost said gamers, but I don't like I don't like the word gamer. Like, gamer is such a dumb phrase, especially since, uh, yo, real talk, the fl the phrase player existed before gamer it was like oh you're player but then like at some point gamer became like it, like the, the the phrase to use and it's like you know what whatever like i like i don't care so much like oh gamer it's such a bad like it's like i just think it's a dumb dumb phrase and like i, I don't really i don't care that much but it's like imagine a world where instead of gamers like people who played games were referred to as players like you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a little ironic, you know, given the kind of like, oh, you know, people who play games are are, are sad people who, who don't don't get dates or whatever. Like, I mean, that's kind of a... Oh, is that like a little bit of like... There was just like a little itty bit of like, we're about to do bloody tears. Uh, but then it stopped. Uh, so this could either be like some kind of really weird bloody tears remix that I don't understand. Or they just gave the little like spooky like theme, like the dee 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 dee. Castle Keep. Okay, cool. Um, uh, but yes, you know, just just imagine a world where instead of the word gamers, people said players. Like, it's, it's, it, 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 it'd be funny. It, it'd be funny to me. I think I think it'd be fun. Is this just does this lead to just one room, or is it just that our our map doesn't reveal more than? Oh, it's a warp. Neat. Do we get to choose where the warps go, or are they linked to each other in such a way? Let's see. Where is this gonna take us? We're at the bottom. Are they all going to link to this bottom one? Or is this just like a matter of like they're going to cycle us through our warp points? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like they just cycle us through our warp points. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what's that area to the top? I think that area to the top is where we found that Skull Lord. The area below us is the Long Library. We haven't found anything to help us with either of those areas. Uh, so I guess we're going back to where once we came. Um, it'd probably be in my best interest to stop and save as well. How long have we been playing as well? Eh, whatever. We'll keep playing. Um, we could probably stop here, call it a day. Um, but I'm, I'm interested to keep going. Like, uh, we know Maria's just kind of, like, dicking around. She's looking for, uh, Richter. Uh, and may maybe we can help her. Uh, because it seems like she's friendly with us now. Uh, before she seemed to be kind of unsure of us. And even so, she's kind of like, yeah, I'm not... 
like whenever he said milady, she was like, oh, you do know how to be a gentleman, which, you know, with the way the words used nowadays are phrase, I suppose, because two words, you know, it could become off as kind of ironic. Like, oh, I guess you do know how to be like, you know, like a gentleman or whatever. Um, but, you know, it seems like to be like earnest, like tear tear thing. Is this a new weapon? Let's see. What's the deal with it? And I keep forgetting I have a shield. Cursed dark sword. Well, okay, so there seems to be no benefit to using it, but I'm going to equip it regardless just because I want to see what its deal is. It seems slow. It has zero attack. Uh, I don't know what the point of this sword is. Uh, perhaps, like, there'll be an enemy later on that you need to fight but not kill? I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Like, maybe you have to hit it a bunch, but, like, actually killing it is bad. Like, maybe, maybe like, uh, Maria or uh, someone else will be like... I say someone else because I assume we're going to meet, like, other supporting cast mem members. Like, I assume Richter's gonna... Oops, I did not mean to do that. I assume Richter will show up at some point. Um, I assume, like, you know, there'll, there'll be a bigger supporting cast. Uh, but, you know, like, Maria or someone else will be, like, brain-controlled at some point, And we need to fight them without killing them. We can bust that out. Um, oh, we're above where we were seeing those flea riders previously. Neat, neat, neat. Or maybe it's just a bad weapon to kind of get the best of you. You can just go into your equipment and uh, equip it without thinking. Um, so who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I suppose I could turn into a Bark Bark and run. But the Bark Bark doesn't jump very well. So uh, for here, I think not. We'll continue on our merry way. And these Flea Riders, like, don't seem to pose too much threat. Because we seem to ha our, our hurt box seems to... Uh, kind of like cover our head very nicely so things like I, well i say that and now this dude's like wrecking my shit um it seems to cover our, our head nicely so we're able to get people like right above us leap stone is this like a double jump yep it is absolutely a double jump nice and cool so there's gonna be plenty of things we'll be able to kind of like mess around with now uh, that we can double jump like there's uh quite a few places that's like just something was just very slightly out of reach um that we'll be able to check up on uh, are you proud of me, Flea Rider? I can do what you're doing now, uh, but I don't have a I don't have a neat chicken I'm riding on. So, you you still got the best of me. I just can kind of do what you're doing. It's, that's so cool too. How his like his cape like becomes wings in the jump. Oh, and those have like uh, like a hit detection on them. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to uh, like leap from underneath them. Like they were like a like a thin like pass through platform like in a uh, like in the Warrior Land series or something. And actually, I don't think I can jump up that uh that area over there uh i suppose we could just immediately just go ahead and warp back to another point and start exploring in different areas like what has opened up to us really um that bottom most shaft i don't think we can do like the bottom most like unexplored area i don't think we've found anything to help us too much with that um that staircase we went up previous in the episode we could probably poke around there find something uh, and see what the deal is with that uh room uh from the staircase uh below the like long tower we climbed we probably see what's up with that we can't do anything with the top left most unexplored hallway because that involved spikes uh we could probably oh no no i was about to say explore more of that area just above us but that was the area we were just in and we're going to need to be able to jump gooder than we can currently jump good to do more of that we could probably do something in the long library uh, maybe see what's up uh, with that area with the Skull Lord. So the world seems to be our oyster at the moment. I'm glad that I decided to play just a little bit longer because I feel like getting this power up seems to be like a, a pretty decent place to call it a day for now because we've been playing for a little while. Um, I, I spent a little bit of time getting back to where I was, but we should still be around like the 40 minute mark if I had to, to take a swing and prob probably a miss because who whoever knows, you can't, you can't trust your recording times. And I just had like... The, the, just a moment of just like primal fear of what if I'm not recording, but 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 I am. I, it, it happens. You, you, you get the fear in you, and it, it never goes away. Um, yes, yeah, so that was cool. Castlevania Symphony Light continues to be a good game, and I will I will love to play some more. Um, maybe I'll play more tonight. Who knows? I, the, 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 the video games will continue. Our time, our night. Our single night, because I assume this is all supposed to transpire over a single night in uh, Castlevania. We'll see what's up with our... T I'll, see, I'll see you guys next episode. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This game's cool.